Number three, what is the direction of the velocity of a negative charge that experiences the magnetic force shown in each of the three cases, assuming it moves perpendicular to B? So first thing is, please check out number one and two. I went through both a detailed analysis of a positive charge, and then I went through a slightly less detailed analysis of a negative charge, but that's only because one thing changes when we talk about negative charges, all right? Now, I'm going to assume you know that now, so we're going to move quickly through these problems, okay? So uh, we have to apply right-hand rule number one. You've got to be careful that we're dealing with a negative charge. So therefore, remember the thumb represents the velocity. The four fingers represent the magnetic field. And then the back of the hand, back of hand, will represent the force. Okay? So now, with your four fingers, because the B says it's point, the magnetic field here is pointing out of the page. That's what the dots represent. Like I said, check out the other pr problems, especially number one. Um, you have to take your four fingers. Remember, you got to rigidly first lock your hand in this kind of high position, as we talked about. Take those four fingers now and almost try to poke yourself in the eye. Okay. Then with the four fingers now pointing towards your face, you must take the back of your palm and make sure it is pointing now upwards, okay? So the four fingers, now this should feel a little weird, okay? You probably are like, I can't even get my hand in that position kind of. I gotta bend the wrist a lot. If that's what's happening, then you're in the right position. So with your four fingers pointing towards your face and the back of your palm has to be pointing to the ceiling. So you're like bending, you will be bending your wrist quite a lot, okay? The thumb then, if you're maintaining a right right angle between your four fingers and your thumb, the thumb then should be pointing to the right, okay? So this is the velocity vector to the right. Now take a look at letter B. The four fingers now, you're going to point to the right, okay? The back of the palm then should be pointing upwards. And if the back of the palm is pointing up and your fingers are pointing to the right, the thumb then, remember, you got to maintain that rigid shake position. The thumb should now be pointing into the computer screen or away from you, okay? So it'll have the velocity here will be somewhere into now the page, okay? I don't know exactly where because we don't know where the particle is, but it's into the page, into page. And last but not least, letter C. The magnetic field is pointing into the page, so take your four fingers and point it towards the computer screen. Now take your, the back of your palm, okay, and try to face that back of your palm to the left, okay? Should feel a little awkward too, okay? Fingers must be pointing into the screen. The back of your palm has to be pointing to the left. And if that's the case, then, and you're maintaining this rigid shake position, all right, your thumb should be pointing downwards now. So the velocity now is going down. And that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.